you must be able to put the shuttle in a controlled level flight like of an airplane. Designers say the system is safe, reliable, and simple. Pinky Nelson on this flight would pull a lever that explosively blow off the hatch. And you get out of his seat, walk around to this position right here. The operations he would do, first pull this pin, pull this pin, and take this lever and slam up. The pole would go flying out in about one second. He hooks up a ring from a strap, his parachute harness, to one of these hooks, yanks it, and then jumps out head first and goes down the pole. Originally, NASA was going to use a series of rockets to pull the astronauts away from the shuttle. It was a controversial proposal that created additional risk for the astronauts. We were loading eight live rockets into the cabin, and there was a, just a prejudice against putting live rockets into the cabin with crew members. The astronauts are much happier with the pole cape system, even though they know it could not save them if there was an explosion like the one that killed the Challenger crew. I think the, uh, the escape system as we have implemented it in the orbiter is a significant improvement for those cases uh, that we have identified that we can do something about our own survival. Before it was installed in the shuttle, the pole escape system was tested more than 60 times by Navy jumpers over the California desert. Entering the drop zone. Green light. NASA designers say the astronaut should clear the shuttle wing by 5 to 15 feet. The experienced jumpers say it is quite a trip. I think most of the jumpers can say it was a real wild and unusual experience. It may be a wild ride, but for the astronaut, it could be their only chance of survival. Bruce Hall, CBS News, Kennedy Space Center.